Hey guys, Dale here from Dale's Rigging and Crane Tips, a 2022 uh, yeah, yeah. On today's episode, it's going to be a mashup. It's going to probably look ugly because I'm recording it on my phone, but I thought we'll go through reeving up the crane. Now, you should have your charts up in your top deck with your other load charts, so you should have your reeving patterns there, okay? And so this is going to be tips and tricks of what I do so I can reeve up professionally, first time, every time, and um, have no sort of hassles. So the first thing you do is you'll look at your reeving pattern pages. Reeving pattern pages. I'm on two now, okay? I want to go to four. So I find four. Now this switch comes off your top, your top pulley to your second pulley so it always comes on the second pulley only if you've got another configuration all right so off your second pulley it's obviously the outside one and the outside one when you do four so it's two and four so whenever I look at this pattern I just look at which one it is two and four if I'm doing five it's two three and four if I'm doing six it's one three and four all right, so you memorize that. So I'm doing four, so I'm doing two and four. That's all I gotta remember, all right? Now, if you look up at the hook, I've got two, oh, sorry guys. Oh, that's disgusting. I've got two on there and I wanna change it to four. So I've got two falls on and I want to change it to four. Now this is a trick. If you've got less falls on and you want to put more falls on, you always leave a little bit of rope because you're going to need more rope to reeve up more times. If you've got six falls on and you're knocking it back to do, you want to bring the hook up quite close to the top of the jib because you don't need all, the, all that rope out. So if you want to go more falls, you leave you leave the hook down further, a couple of meters, three meters, because you're gonna need that rope. If you need less falls, you put you take the hook all the way up to the boom, to the top of the boom, because you don't need that. Alright? Now another trick I do, now another trick I do when reeving up is I chuck my um, top section out to 92% or whatever percent you do when you crane. Uh, some groves now, like it's better to put a hundred out. But I stick a whole section out. Why I do that top section out is because the more boom you've got out, the more you can jib down, the more you can get the top of the boom down to the height of the rigger. If you have all your boom sucked in and you jib down, he's going to have to get on the ladder just to reach the top of the boom. And we don't want that, that's just we don't want to work it on the ladder, we just want to work off the ground. So I always chuck the top section out to 100% or 95%. Crane with no counterweight is good for it, so it's good to go. Now I'm putting more falls on the hook. So what I want to do is you don't want to have your hook up this high because then you run out of rope to reeve up. So if you're reeving up, you want to let some slack down, alright? Because you need more rope because we're going from two to four. So I always leave about that much and then I come down. Okay? I come down like this. Now if you're a rigger out there, what you want to do is you want to go get that hook sideways to me. See how it's see how it's facing me? You want to turn it 45 degrees so it's facing me. So when I come down here, I'll jump down. See it's facing me now. That's what you can do to help as a rigger. Now here's another trick coming up. I'll get this on the ground. Now before I put slack, before I jib down, this is where you pull out the pins. Now I'll go down and show you. Now I pull out the pins now because if these ropes are slack, and if, especially if you're on a huge, if you're on a 200 tonner, when these ropes come down and press against this pin, it's very hard to get that pin out. 
So before you drop any slack, the ropes are tight, that's perfect time to pull the pins out. So you stop the crane operator, if the crane operator's worth his salt, he'll stop there anyway, and that's why he's stopping. So you get a chance to pull these pins out. All right, so I've just pulled these pins out. You need these top pins out, that, that, and this pin out, all right? Once those pins are out, then we can jib down. Some hooks have a pin up here, but it's usually just one pin on each side, okay? So I want to jib down the rest of the way. So we've stopped before, we've stopped while the ropes are still tight. The rig has pulled out the two pins, so we're ready to jib down the rest of the way. Now I always try and do it over my side, because the ram doesn't hit the chassis like it would if you're over the back of the crane. You've got more chassis over the back, so you're gonna run out of stroke because you're gonna hit the back of the chassis. But if you've got heaps of stick out, like I have, a top section, you won't have that problem. You'll be able to jib down anywhere. Now look, I'll keep jibbing down, and I'll get this top of the boom pretty much sitting on top of that hook. So you can grab everything at ground level. All right, now if that boom was right up, it was all the way sucked in, you're gonna to have to get a ladder. We don't want that, all right? Now you have to turn the key and you can get down a bit further as well. Now we've got it at height, so I can grab all this stuff from here. Now remember what we remember before, two and four. So we've got the rope coming down here. We've got number two and number four. All right, but we need to pull these pins out. This pin comes out. Remember, there's a top pin in there. That top pin has to come out too. All right, so always remember top pins out. Always remember ropes underneath these pins. If you forget that and the rope goes over top, you're fired. All right, that top pin there, if the rope isn't underneath that top pin, you're fired. So remember that, okay? I'll take these pins out. Alright, this is a lever, this gizmo here, you push that in, you pull that down, and then you can get the rope out, alright? They're different on different cranes, alright? I'm not going to explain the other ones, only the lever. You can pull that rope out, you want that rope out. This one here is the anti-two block, you pull this off, so you turn that, and then that little weight slides out, you can get that off, alright? So we want it on number two and four. And then we obviously, for balance, we want it on outside and outside one, okay? Alright, so I've taken those two pins out, alright? One, two, and four. And I've just taken it out of the middle one, so I'm going to feed it through this side one. Up over four, up over four, come down off four, down through this one, then back up to the two block, okay? Make sure you pull the rope all the way through each time you pull it through a pulley. Pull it through tight, then feed it into the next one. You always want to do that so the rope's not twisted. Alright, I've done two and four here. And since I... And so, then I've done two, two and four here. And then side and side. Alright, now this bar goes over the top of the ropes. And then check that one, that the rope there is underneath that bar, and then the pins are in. Now look, I've got a perfect amount of slack for this rope. So you know how I was saying before, I winched down a few more metres more, because I'm reeving up? If I didn't, if I kept the hook this far from the pulleys, and I jibbed down and I let the slack go, I would have had no rope to reeve up here, so if you're reeving up more falls, you leave more slack down, three to four meters. If you're taking out falls, you leave it up about this high before you jib down, because you're taking them out, all right? So very important, you get that. Otherwise, you've got to pull out wire, and there's a chance of birds nesting. You don't want to do that, all right? You see how these ropes are slack here? There's no real way I can get that pin in. Once you get to this point, and that's on, and everything's on, you get the crane operator jib up. Once he pulls the slack, 
these wires will come in really tight and you'll be able to slot that pin in. From this point on, go yeah bro, all done, jib up. He should be out here anyway, because you never trust a rigger to do this. All right, it's not that there's a trust thing, it's that two eyes going over all these pins is better than one set of eyes, all right? So before I even jib up, I go, okay, yep, pins in. All right, that pins in, that pins in, sleeper pins in. Okay, those pins are in. Two blocks in, rope, all right? Rope's in this cradle, okay? That's not coming out. Check, 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 check. Two blocks on. Once you get this rope out, you don't have to take that one off on levers. It, it slides through, so that's a good thing. So check, 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 check. Definitely that the ropes are underneath this pin. Definitely that the ropes underneath that pin. All the checks are done, all right? Now we jib them up. We get those tight, and then we slot that last pin. If these are slack, you can't get that in. You leave that pin out. You slot that once he takes the weight off the hook. So I've just taken that slack out so the rigger can slot that pin easily. I'll show you. Now look, all I've done is jib up. That's taken the slack out of these ropes. So I can just push this pin here. She slides in with ease. No fucking struggle, all right? Smart way to do it. That's what we're here for. Not struggle street, smart way. So before he drops the hook, before he drops the hook, we want to take those pins out. Well, it's got, well, it's got none of the rope weight on it. We want to take those out. And then the best time to put them in is when he's jibbed back up a bit and there's no slack in the rope. You're not fighting anything. That's when you put the pins in. All right. So once those pins in, another check, two block check, pin check. Reef check. Ropes underneath that pin check. We're on two and four check. All right, that pin's in, sleeper pin's in. All pins are in, and the ropes are on the right side of these pins. On the inside, on the hook, on the inside, on those reefs. We're looking pretty fucking good. All right, when you jib down the hook, always jib down, always jib up. Never touch the winch. I don't want you to, don't touch the winch at all to put place or pick up this hook. That's when your bird's nest it, okay? It's all jib, that's it. All right, so the rigger, he's just put in those pins. Now we're good to go. Successfully went from two falls to four falls, all right? Now why I've done this is because I whack down falls at the start of this job because I'm doing steel erection and I wanted two falls to make it go faster, quicker. I didn't need anything heavy, so I put it to two falls. After you've done the job, if two falls is what you want, keep it in two falls. But a good crane operator, I know on Tuesday, I've got a job that's 17 tonne. So instead of doing it on the job and wasting the customer's time, wasting my time, oh man, I've got to re-reeve. I do it at the end of this job because he knows I have to reeve up, therefore I have to reeve down or vice versa. So I'm doing it this job. So on fucking Tuesday, I just come in, boom, I do this next job, brothers. Work smarter, man. So you roll up, you're good to go. So I might as well do it now while I've got time, getting paid. When I don't have time, when I go on to this other important job, Either the way, the customer pays for you reeving up. That's a part of the job. He's got to cop that. If you don't reeve up, you can't do his job. So, that's what it is, guys. All right, guys, so I hope that video helped some of you guys out there, um, just to get your head around um, re-reeving a hook and handy things you can do if you're a rigger and you know, you've never re-reeved up. Okay, what do I do here, you know? Like, I want to look at least a little bit competent. You get that hook spun around and you help the hook stay flat on the ground, you know, so you can help that. And then once he gets it down, just sort of just above the ground or just touching the ground, stop him, pull those pins out when it's easy to do it. You want to do it when it's the easiest. Once you've re-reefed up, you jib them up, take the slack out of the ropes, slot those pins in when there's no ropes bearing weight on it. 
so you can stop those pins in easy. All right, look at your reaving patterns. Do not guess the reaving patterns. Do not think, oh yeah, well we'll just, we'll just go every second one and even it up. Don't do that, don't do that at all. Look at the reaving patterns, which are the manufacturer's instructions on how to reave it. Do not just bluff your way or just or have a wild guess. Go into your books, grab the reaving patterns, take a photo, print them out, put them in your top cab, stick them to the side of your window in your top cab or something. But do not guess them, all right? Like this video, subscribe here. Dale's Rigging and Crane Tips. More things to come. Exciting news coming up too. All right, love you all, brothers of the hooks. Oh yeah.